Hello everyone! Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy making these Mother's Day crafts. For the first craft, we'll be needing craft sticks, washi tape, and glue. I'm going to be making a picture frame. I glue the craft sticks together, creating a square. Now I get my washi tape and I just decorate the craft sticks. If you don't have washi tape, you can also paint your craft sticks. You can paint them with uh, paint or markers or crayons, or you can just decorate with stickers. Make sure the glue on your craft sticks is completely dry before you apply the washi tape or your paint or your stickers. Now you can grab your picture and glue it to the back of your picture frame. I just made this to show you guys how to glue down your picture. It's just white paper with stickers that I had. Make sure you let it dry. I actually forgot to record this last part, but I glued a magnet to the back of my frame, and there it is on my fridge. You can also use jute twine and a hot glue gun to make a different frame. You get three strands of the jute twine. These measured 20 inches long. I'm gonna be braiding the jute twine. So I got this clip and it makes it a little bit easier to braid it. Try not to make it too tight so you can be able to see the design. I made a second picture frame option thinking about the older kids, and I'm also using more of neutral colors. Now I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue down the braid that I made. Be very careful when you use a hot glue gun, because it's really hot. I wrapped it all around my picture frame and I just trimmed off the extra twine. Now add your picture to the back of the frame and I added a little piece of twine to hang it to the wall. For the second craft, I will be using cardboard, construction paper, stickers, glue, yarn, and a hole punch. First, I cut off a piece of cardboard. This will be a bookmark, so I'm making a rectangle. Now I trace this rectangle to my construction paper. I cut it out and now I'm gonna glue it to the back of my cardboard. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna start on my tassel. For my tassel, I will be needing a long piece of yarn and a shorter yarn. The long yarn, I wrap it around my fingers, not too tight. Now I'll get the shorter piece of yarn and I pull it through the yarn that's wrapped around my fingers. Now once you have it in, you wanna get it to the top. Pull it, not all the way, and just make a knot. I struggled a bit, so you might need an extra hand.
Now I get an extra piece of yarn and I tie it to the top of the tassel. Make sure it's really nice and tight. Now this little loop, we cut it. Now make it nice and straight and I evened it out. Now I just make it nice and pretty and there's my tassel. Now I punch a hole to the top of the bookmark. Now I get my tassel and I put the string through the hole. I see what length I want it and then I just make a knot. And this is my favorite part, decorating with stickers. This is a cute one. Ooh, I like this one. There's my bookmark. Another option is using burlap ribbon, hot glue gun, jute twine, and construction paper. I wrap the construction paper around the cardboard and I glued it down. This time I used the glue stick because I thought the liquid glue made it kind of bumpy. Now I got that burlap ribbon and I wrapped it around the bookmark. Be very careful using the hot glue gun. To make the hole on this bookmark was a little bit tougher, so I did end up using an X-Acto knife and then went over it with the hole punch. Whatever you use, be very careful. I made this tassel the same way I made the yarn tassel, but for this one, I actually had to hot glue the knots. For the third craft, we'll need pipe cleaners, keychain rings, and beads. This is a neat hack I saw using a bobby pin to help you get your bead through your string, or in my case, the pipe cleaner. Now I just bend these two sides like this to create the arms, and then I twist like that. This will be my son. <laughs> so and now I'm gonna put some beads for his shirt, and I want him to have a colorful shirt. And I put these skinny beads. I don't know if you have any, but if you don't, you can use, you know, other beads too. But I happen to have these for his little pants. And then I twist to make his little feet. I keep twisting. Oops. And I just cut off any extra wire. I just shape it how I want, and there's my son and my daughter. Now I'm using my Sharpies to draw in the face. If you don't have Sharpies, you can also use paint. Then I looped in the keychain rings. You can also use paper clips. Look how cute they look. Thanks for watching, and to all the mommies out there, happy Mother's Day!